uh, depending on how how extreme it is. If uh, if they really take me over there, I have no problem breaking them down and just turning them around. Okay, a couple times there, that's pretty basic, pretty common exercise. So if, if I feel like he's he's kind of ignoring me, I may break him down right there and just pull him around. I don't ever really want to get quick, okay, with my hand like like this here, like you right right there. You kind of grabbed him and bumped him, and so he kind of went, oh, what was that? Okay, I don't mind if you get quick with him, uh, as long as you take the slack out of the reins first. Okay, so right here, once I tip the slack out of the reins, then I can pull on him and, and move him across there. Okay, but you'll notice when I pulled on him, I redirected everything. Okay, I just didn't get his nose. Okay, I moved him in and redirected. Him. Okay, so I can be fairly, fairly sharp with that, just as long as he knows that when I come through here, if I look where I'm going. Okay. That's why I say go to one hand and try to feel what rain length is good, okay? So if my hand is down right here, let's say, okay? I feel those are too short. Even though I'm not pulling on him, it just feels confined, okay? I can't really get a true reading on my heart. Now, I lengthen it. Now my hand is down. Now I can get a true reading of what, what he's thinking, okay? So what I want is to decide what correction I'm gonna make. Okay, he leaned a little right there. So that was my correction for that time. Okay, I'll switch it up. And then I wanna look where I'm going. Just a little late. I'm gonna do this correction again. So you see it's about the same spot. That was about the same spot that I corrected him last time. We'll see what third time's the charm here. Okay, come through here. I'm going to look, I'm going to turn my shoulder. Very good. See? Something I want to think about doing is when I'm riding around, I want this horse's mane just as he stands here. Okay? I don't want him overbent one way or, or the other. Okay? I want my horse's mane right here straight. Okay? And if I'm doing my job proper, that mane's going to come right up to my, right up the middle of me. Okay? Now, if a uh, right handed rider, Okay, on a right circle, what's gonna happen, and this is the same for me going left, because I'm a left-handed rider, but right-handed riders tend to wanna ride right shoulder forward, okay? Uh, and when we're right shoulder forward, that puts left shoulder back, okay? And if we're going to the right and left shoulder back, <laughs> see, I, see, where, see where my shoulder's pointed in? Yeah. He completely left. The circle, okay. So, but you'll notice if my shoulder is back here like this, and this shoulder is forward, it's pointing him out, okay. And if I look down, if I look down from your angle right there, if I look down here, okay, and I, my right shoulder is forward, now this mane is cutting me up about this side more, this side of my body. All this is just over here hanging, okay. If I get straight. Now it's right back up the middle. But if I start turning, all of a sudden it gets it gets over here to this side of me. Okay? So I've got to make sure that that horse, that I'm doing my job first. Okay? So as I ride around, I want to make sure that my left shoulder is forward. Or, or at least kind of going with my horse. Okay? Go with my horse here. I'm not going to allow it to, to lean out. Okay? So me being a left-handed rider, not so not so much a, uh, a problem going to the right because my right shoulder's already back. Okay, see, so so I have no problem staying on the right circle. Okay, now if I reverse directions, now it's my now this should be my problem. Okay, because right shoulder wants to get back, which means I'm pointing him away. Okay, so I've got to bring my shoulder here to where that mane is straight and it's split right up the middle here. Okay, and then I use my eyes, you know, my, my, my eyes, my shoulder, which goes down to my hips. Okay, and I let my horses follow that all the time. 
And so I'm really, I, I'm really big into making sure that, that I'm not holding them anymore. Okay, so when I come around and if I feel like my horse is leaning out, um, got a couple corrections. You can pull him in and cut your circle, or you can draw him down and turn him a couple times and then lope off. I don't necessarily go back out to my big circle because I want to get my horse to, I want it to sink in as fast as I can. Uh, and so the best way to get through to them is by repetition. And the more I do it, the faster I do it, the better they get at it. Okay? Horses like these are smart because they've been around the block a time or two. So if I come here on my big circle, okay, and he only leans there every time over there, then I gotta wait to get back to it, okay? So what I'm gonna do is make sure my horse is straight. Let's say he leans. Now I'm gonna pull him around here, no big deal. Say, hey, gotta redirect. Now instead of going back out to my big, you'll notice where I over-exaggerated my correction. It's in, never out there. So if wherever he leans on a circle, if he leans out, redirect him in, and then as soon as you lope off, go right back around in a small circle here, so you're getting it in his head. Oh, I gotta go, I gotta stay in, I gotta stay right. I gotta stay right, I gotta stay right. Okay, otherwise if you get back out on a big circle, they'll just drag you around, okay? And they just get bored. So let's try that. Just lope him around a little to the right. 